Hi, I'm Fred Sokolow, and this is a lesson on body blues songs for ukulele. You know, as long as blues has been recorded, which is pretty much from the early 20s on, some blues singers have done off-color tunes, and they usually have to couch them in metaphors instead of coming right out and saying exactly what they mean. But some of the songs are really, really clever, and a lot of them have great music to them as well. So I've picked out seven of them that we are going to do. And uh, we'll start by getting tuned up. So here's your high G. And your C, third string. And here's the second string, E. And the first string, A. I got me the strangest woman Believe me this chick's no cinch And I really get her going When I whip out my big ten inch Record of the band that plays the blues The band that plays the blues She just loves my big ten inch Record of our favorite blues Well I cover her with kisses clinch and she just gets all excited and begs for that big 10 inch record of the band that plays the blues the band that plays the blues and she just loves my big 10 inch record of our favorite blues well last night I tried to tease her I gave her a little pinch but she says, just stop that jiving And whip out that big ten inch Record of the band that plays the blues The band that plays the blues Well, she just loves my big ten inch Record of our favorite blues Don't go for smoking. Liquor just makes her flinch. It seems she don't go for nothing except for my big ten inch record of the band that plays the blues. The band that plays the blues. She just loves my big ten inch record of our favorite blues. Okay, we're going to talk about both the, uh, the soloing and the strumming and accompaniment on this one. The song is in the key of F, even though it starts on that B-flat 7th. You know, a song doesn't have to, if a song's in F, that doesn't mean it always starts in F. So uh, there, it's bluesy kind of chords, and the B-flat 7th is played like this. It's a bar across the 1st fret, and then the, fir the third string in the 2nd fret. So that's your B-flat 7th, and then I moved it up two frets to go to the C seventh when we did that those triplets so uh, during the during the um, singing I did two different kinds of accompaniment on one of them I was kind of uh, doing this, these clipped where you mute the strings like so that's the effect you get by uh, muting them by lift after you've strummed the chord you lift your fingers off of the slightly up they're still touching the strings, but they're not pressing down anymore, so it stops the sustain, and that's how it's in a lot of swing playing, swing kind of rhythms, you get that technique. And then the, the F is an F7, because in the blues there's seven chords all over the place. All the chords in this one are seven chords, almost. Uh, and then when, it, when I went up to the C7 for the... That's just downstrokes. And, and on the chorus, I'm opening it up. I'm not doing that muting thing and, and doing a little bit more strummy stuff. So that's a pattern, isn't it? Down, down, up, down, up, down, up. And that 
that's the pattern for the chorus to, to make it a little bigger than the, and the, so the pattern with the muting on the other part of the tune is down, 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 down. So you got those two patterns. And that's pretty much it for the accompaniment. Now I started the tune with a little instrumental, which the way I'm doing on most of these tunes, the little opening instrumental is the last four bars of the of the piece when it's played as a solo. So that's um, let's see. Now I, you're you're going to notice that on some of this, you're using the drone string, the high fourth string, as a melody note occasionally. So that happens a lot. So let's see, we've got. Um, that was the little. That's a blue note up there that that keeps happening a lot throughout the song. So it's the same chord shapes as during the accompaniment. There's just a lot more individual, you know, solo picking of of individual notes to make the melody happen. But just like in the other tune, when even though you're picking out individual notes, you're always playing a chord or hovering right around a chord. Um, there's a little thing I did at the end, a little ending, like where I slid up to the fifth fret on the second and fourth strings. I went and then came back to the F, and then it ended on a seventh chord. So, having said all that, let's split the screen and do the whole thing, just one verse and one instrumental, and slow it down so you can get a good look at what's going, see, see the details of what's going on with both hands. Record of the band that plays the blues 